Hi, second graders, and welcome to the second grade invention convention. You are going to be creating your very own game board invention to play with your friends and family. We can't wait to see what you come up with. You're probably wondering, what is the invention convention? And why are we learning so much about inventors right now? The reason we're focusing on inventors is because in Miss Blossom's class, the super kids have been learning about how to create inventions of their own. And since we're in second grade too, the teachers at Spreckles thought there would be nothing better to do this week than to focus on inventions and come up with some creative designs for things you can build at home. For this week's invention convention, you are going to be designing a game board that you can play with two to four people using recycled materials that you can find around your house. We can't wait for you to get creative and it's going to be lots of fun. Here's some invention inspiration, since you might be wondering, what am I actually going to invent? You're gonna use any materials you can find around your house. You could use an old tissue box, the inside roll of a, from toilet paper or paper towels. You might even have a box from a package that you got in the mail or an old cereal box or soup can. Get creative and look around at the things that you can use again. You're also welcome to use art supplies that you have, paper, paints, anything you can find to create your game. Here you can see that this student created a cardboard game using a marble and some bottle caps. They were able to create a game board in which they push the marble back and forth and try to score goals. Some more invention inspiration for you. These students used cardboard to create a game that involves tossing some sort of object, maybe a ball or maybe a bean bag, into different holes that are worth different amounts of points. Or, like this other student, you might want to create a basketball toss game in which you have to shoot something into different baskets. Another invention inspiration for you. Here, a student used paper towel rolls that they cut up. Each paper towel roll has a different number on it. I'm not sure what the numbers mean. There could be lots of things. They might have to roll the ball through the different tubes in number order. Or maybe the tubes that they get the ball through are how many points they've scored. One of the great things about your game board invention is you are going to get to create the rules for the game that you design. You can come up with all of the materials and the design for the game and let people know how they're supposed to play and keep score. Creating your game. You might be wondering how you're actually gonna put your game together and if there's any guidelines you need to follow to make sure you do it correctly. The answer is yes. You're going to create a fun game to play with your family and friends. Before you start building your game, there's some things you should know. We want you to build your game out of recycled materials. So all of those examples I just gave, old tissue boxes, cereal boxes, paper towel rolls, construction paper, boxes from a package, those would be great materials to use for your game board invention. You're gonna want to design a game that you can play with two to four people. It's always more fun when you can share with others what you've created. And before you begin building, make a list of the materials you wanna use and draw up a picture of how you want your game to look. All good inventions start with an idea. For today, your activity is going to be to come up with a plan and a sketch for your game invention. You will collect the recycled materials you have at home to use for your game. You're going to create a list of the materials you want to use. And you're going to draw a sketch on paper of how you want your game to look and work. Remember, you can include labels, colors, and lots of details. We really want to know what's going on inside your brain when you come up with your invention design. Today on Seesaw, you are going to have a sketch and plan blueprint to complete. Here is what it will look like. At the very top, we want you to come up with some sort of name for your game. Make it fun and catchy so that people will want to play it. We want you to list the materials you're going to use so that you make sure to use the things you have around you and you don't forget anything you thought you wanted to use. Lastly, we want you to create a blueprint. A blueprint is a quick sketch or design idea that you have. 
Remember that all good inventors started with an idea, and that idea might change as you get to work. By creating your blueprint, you can always go back to the drawing that you had started with and decide, do I want to keep my game the way I originally thought, or did something change that I want to do differently? We're so, so excited to see you get to work. We can't wait to see what you come up with, and we hope you have a lot of fun creating your game board design.